Oh god. What is that? This is probably the worst one so far. So he definitely looks like an alien. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruby. I create fan art and try art challenges. Today, BT21 is going to be looking kind of weird after I'm done. BT21 are line characters created by BTS. I have stationary pens of almost all the characters. Sadly, Mang was sold out when I went to the line store in LA. As a replacement, I'll be using a pen I won at KCON from BBGo. It has some cute dumplings on the top. For the blindfold, I'll be using this cute sleeping mask. I haven't drawn BT21 before, so I was thinking about practicing before making this video, but then I thought it would be more entertaining watching me trying to draw them from memory. So before I begin, I'll be staring at them for about 2 minutes just so I can memorize their features. And to make this even more interesting, I'll be guessing which pen I'm using. I want to pick the character I'll be drawing. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Good to go. I don't know if I'm going to do an order of like age from the BTS members. I'll probably just do it randomly. So I'm gonna start by mixing the pens. All right, I, I mix them. I try not to like touch the top part of the pen while I was mixing. So the first one I wanna use is Goya. So I'm gonna see if I can guess. No, I think this one's RJ. The dumplings? Oh God. Maybe this is Shuki. Where are you? I think this one is the one I'm looking for. I'm basing it off mainly on the ears. Maybe I should have done the head first. <laughs> I'm sure to do his ear. <laughs> Hopefully that closed. Alright, and this is the other ear. Somewhere in the middle. His eyes. And then his nose, his mouth, body, and he has his arms on the side, and then his little feet. Probably gonna mess this up so bad. He has like a little white part for his tummy, and that's it. Oh, should I try to write Goya? And put it on like on the very edge, where I think I didn't draw him, I don't know. Goya. Okay. Just in case I can't recognize it once <laughs> I take off the blindfold. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side since he's done. Next, I want to do Tata. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, where's the rest? I forgot I like pushed him to the side. No. Okay, this one should be him. It was easier because he has a heart-shaped head. And I noticed that the pens have a little thing at the edge. Now I know I have to take this little plastic thing off. And that's because this is the first time I'm using the pens. Kind of put my hand here to give some space where I think Goya is. And then I'll try to draw that, that. So the heart. And then his eyebrows. His eyes. And his mouth. Because I know it's like yellow and then black in the middle. His body. I know he has polka dots. I'm just gonna draw some arms and then the legs. I feel like they're gonna look like uh, River Hose characters, <laughs> especially like the body part. And let's try to put some circles. <laughs> Tata! And I'll try to write his name at the top. Hopefully, I don't write it on him. So now this one goes to the side. Somewhere. Hopefully I don't mix them up. Let's go for RJ. No. Not that one. No. I think it's kind of easy to know which one the dumplings are. Okay, this one's too small. I think it's this one. But I'm not sure. No, this one's too smooth. Then this one's tiny. Okay, so it should be this one. Since he has more curves, like an alpaca. So I'm gonna say that this one is RJ and take off hopefully i don't break the pens when i'm taking that off okay one hand two hands okay so i'm gonna draw him on this corner i'm just trying to leave some space so i don't <laughs> draw on top of each other i think he might be the most uh complicated one because of the shape and then he's like pretty tall okay that and then he 
He's floofy. Oh, wait. I don't think his head is like separate. Oh, do his eyebrows. And then his eyes. His nose slash mouth. And cheeks. His arm. Body. Foot. Other foot. Body. <laughs> I feel like it's already crooked. Arm. And then hopefully that connected to the head. Oh, oh I shouldn't have moved my pen. For his little bandana thing here. And I think it has like the little, like the tie at the end. Like the knot of the bandana. Let me write RJ at the very corner. RJ. Oh, next, let's try, let's try Van. No. No. This one. I can tell by the pointy head. So this should be Van. So this is probably on the easier side. Oh, I shouldn't move my paper. I'm gonna put them um, like right here. Yeah, I have space. Okay. I just don't want to end up like drawing on the table. <laughs> That's why I'm feeling the paper. Hopefully nobody counts that as cheating. Pointy. And then head. <laughs> it's probably like a big huge head. And then he has pretty easy X. O. And then the mouth. The body. I think this is pretty much the same like arms and then the legs. And then the other arm. But these, I'm, not, I don't, I'm definitely not gonna get them like the middle part because like half is gray and half is white. But I'll go ahead and draw a line. <laughs> I don't even think that was a straight line. And then I'll just write. Man. I think those were all the features. I don't think there was much to this character. Moving on. All right, so I'm gonna mix these up again because I feel like I'm already starting to know where they were. Uh, let's try Chimmy. I think this is Jimmy. No, this shouldn't be Jimmy. No, this one's too small. Okay, so I think this is the one that's Jimmy. Timmy Changa. <laughs> I just realized that now. It's like Timmy Changa. Timmy. For the place on the paper, it's just like right here. Hopefully, we are good. I'm trying to do his head. It's like as the cheeks chubby cheeks and then face his eyes wait does he have does he have eyebrows i don't remember his nose and i remember he had like this slanted i don't know who he called smile but his mouth is like slanted and then his tongue is sticking out oh his ears <laughs> okay and then his body and then again, just like his hands, like in the middle somewhere, <laughs> like the little, but the strings of the sweater, that's what those are. Let me right here. Jimmy. Uh, who's left? Let's go for Shuki. No. No, it was too big. This one should be Shuki. The little cookie. Maybe I can put him like in the middle. Hopefully it doesn't take that much space to draw. Oh, circle like a cookie. I don't think that was a circle. <laughs> I know his eyebrows are in. This one's thicker. And then his smile. And then like that one little tooth. His hands and feet. And hopefully they're near the circle I drew. <laughs> Let's see, I can draw write his name probably right here. Shiki. Almost done. So now I have Mang and uh, Cookie. Let's draw Cookie. So this one should be him because the ears. So this is the one I think is Cookie. Cookie. The magnet. I feel like I'm running out of space, so let's 
say like this is probably enough so kind of the same thing it's like a round head so it's easier for me his ears and then one's like curled in his eyes and then i know like one's eyebrows like bigger than the other one like his cookie companion and then his mouth slash nose his body <laughs> wait did i put the hand on the other side it's like the end of the paper cookie so now we just have Meng, which is pretty easy to tell since his was like the replacement with the dumplings. And I could tell which one it was because this was pretty big. So I could like rule that out pretty easily. <laughs> Maybe when I go to the line store again, I'll be able to find it and finally have the complete collection. Or you can send me one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this one at the very corner. So you know he has a mask on. I did have to look this one up before doing the video because I don't have the pen. And there was like more than one version. So I'm just gonna pick a version I think that would have been in the store. Yeah, as a plastic too. I guess all these pens have a little plastic thing at the end. Like that. Okay, that's his mask. And then his ear, his little floofy hair. His eye, his nose, and his body. Like that. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something, but I think that's it. Did I do his other arm? Oh god. Oh well. <laughs> this will be Meng. me bt21 everybody <laughs> and hopefully it kind of looks like the actual characters or resembles them somehow but this was pretty fun to do i would totally do this again probably with other characters we'll see i was thinking maybe i should color them but i don't know how i would pick colors blindfolded so let's see what i did um i know it's not gonna be good Goya! So I definitely had room to write his name. This reminds me of the art I used to do when I was little. I was like five. Maybe because we didn't have the internet back then, we really did have to rely on memory to draw our favorite cartoon characters. Like for me, it was mainly the Powerpuff Girls. And this reminds me like the body because theirs is kind of similar. It was like short and like just like legs. And it just has arms on the sides and the little feet on the bottom. So the shape I did for Koya's body reminds me of something I would probably would have ended up drawing when i was little as a part of girl's body but i do like how i did the little smile you can definitely tell it's like a big u at least everything's in the circle like the smile is barely touching outside looks like i did two smiles i'm not sure what happened there and then i did close the circle to his head which is good but not his ear <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that, that. So he definitely looks like an alien. I thought I drew the heart a little bigger than what I actually made. And then his mouth kind of reminds me of a pacifier. A little, you know, chupon that the babies have. Like, that's what it's called in Spanish. I mean, I did the polka dots, and, but it looks like I put badges right here because they're right next to each other. <laughs> I thought I did it more randomly, but I guess not. His head is definitely floating from his body. But I mean, at least you can tell where his feet and hands are. And his like eyebrows and eyes are inside the heart. So not as complete as the first one. And then RJ all the way over here. Fluffy boy. Wow. So he looks buffer or fluffier and shorter. I didn't want to make him like how tall he really is, but guess not and then his face is at least inside where the head is and then the ears is floating and then i'm just glad i put the bandana where the neck would be uh, that's actually surprising i thought i would end up putting it like inside of it like on top of his face i mean the rest of the body i think is okay it looks like a big cloud but yeah it's rj all right for van <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the line yeah definitely not down center so my camera died that's why the lighting's changed a bit it is almost like close to getting dark so i'm gonna try to do this quick like i was saying the line is definitely not a straight line but i'm glad at least the features of the face are within 
the circle of the head and again we have another floating head but this time the arm is detached i guess i didn't like do a continuous line this time but you can tell who it is. all right and then chimmy oh god <laughs> what is that <laughs> this is probably the worst one so far it probably looks more like a real dog than the chimmy dog like being a puppy because it does look like with his three legs like a pose of a real puppy <laughs> instead of how chimmy is standing yeah i guess oh these must have been where i put the things for the sweater just the strings and i guess this was like the arm but yeah this is like a really bad drawing of a puppy dog <laughs> Let's go to Shooky. He definitely looks like a character from Super Mario Brothers. He looks kind of funny. Like, this really does look like a little cartoon. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to guess the arms and the legs. Like, right where they were. Because they're all, like, in different places. Or surrounding the circle of his body. But at least they look like they're spaced out evenly. Like, they both have it's kind of the same space between them. But the mouth is, like, you can't really tell that it's a mouth. Cookie. Oh, my goodness yeah i totally missed the head on this one where the face was supposed to go i guess you can tell those are the ears i'm not sure what this was supposed to be maybe it's when i was trying to color the eyebrow oh and then i did guess it right where i put the hands like the lines to separate where the hands are i think with chimmy i was trying to do the same thing but it was only successful with one hand i don't know what this line is here <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must have been like where I thought Mang's nose was and I definitely did not get it right. We're supposed to be more over here. So I was pretty far off on that part. I like the floof of his hair and his the shape of his head definitely looks like a puppet, like a puppet sock. His head looks like a puppet sock. <laughs> at least his eyes on the head and then the body was pretty easy to do. So at least I didn't write the name on top of the character because I thought one of them was going to end up like that. But everything else was fine. I think the worst one for for me would probably be i'm gonna say chimmy was the one that i really messed up on <laughs> i'll probably use that one for the thumbnail because it's just so funny i don't know if people would be able to guess that i was trying to draw chimmy if i just showed them the drawing <laughs> so i'll definitely be using this one for the thumbnail if not then cookie would be like the next contender oh my god his head is just like way too small it looks like a little potato and then the like most accurate i would probably have to say is rj probably the one that turned out more like the actual character overall this was fun i definitely thought i drew the characters a little bigger than when i was drawing so my other camera died so i'm just using my phone now to record the rest of the video and i can't wait for the battery to recharge again for that camera because i'm running out of sunlight it's almost like getting close to dark already like sunset is upon me i just wanted like to end the video through here but overall i had a lot of fun creating my little doodles of bt21 it was really nostalgic as well because it kind of reminds me of maybe like how i used to draw when i was little and i would suggest for you right now since you're at home as well to try this out if you try to color them in that'll probably be more like interesting and try to see if you can actually color them in while being blindfolded that's that'll probably turn out even more funnier <laughs> in my opinion but yeah i totally recommend this art challenge if you also take this art challenge of creating bt21 blindfolded make sure to tag me on social media i would also want to see your guys's creations i'm gonna go ahead and post this on my instagram and i'm gonna see first of all if people can guess the two very bad ones of chimmy and cookie like who i tried to draw without me telling them first i want to see how poorly i did according to everybody that follows me on instagram <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you like videos like these see you next time bye